We'll guide you through how to download and install DecoCraft in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. DecoCraft can completely change Minecraft with all of the awesome items it can go and add. So let's go and get started. First of all, you need to go and quit off Minecraft. Here we are on my desktop. And what you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and open up Google Chrome, but you can open up a browser of your choice. And then what we need to do is go and search for DecoCraft like so. Add in Minecraft as well, just so we get to the right place. And what you want to do is go and get it from CurseForge. So here it is. And what you can do is go and scroll down. We can go and read it through. But what we can do is go and click on files like so to go and download it. So in this case, I like to go and get the most up-to-date version. And that is for 1.18.2. There are other versions as well though. And so then what you can do is go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file like so. Just make sure as well the mod loader is for Forge. I don't think there are any other options there, but just make sure it is. So in this case, I got it for 1.18.2. That's super important to note because we need to go and get something called Forge. Forge allows us to go and run mods and that will need to be for the same version. So go and search for Forge Minecraft like so. And then what we need to do is go and get it for 1.18.2 in my case, which I'll go and select. I'll click on installer. Now wait for this to go and load. Just be aware this is an ad here. So the download button is for the ad. You need to go and click on the skip button in the top right like so, and it'll then go and download Forge itself. Before we start the install process, a big thank you to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the description and in the comments. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server. So you scroll down and you can see some of their awesome features. For example, one click and store mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and 24 seven server support as well. So you can get the help anytime you need it via the live chat. It's got many other awesome things as well. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice as well. Now let's continue with the install process. So go and open up your file explorer and come to the left and click on downloads and go and find what you downloaded. First of all, we need to install Forge. So go and double click on it. Now, if it doesn't open up or something else does, this is likely because Java is not installed or it's not properly installed. So what you can do is go and open up your web browser and head to java.com. And what you can then do is download it and install it. It's super straightforward. After you've done that, return to Forge and right click on it, hover over open with, and you want to select choose another app. And in here, you can then go and select Java and you can select always, and that should hopefully work. If it doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which we've got a video on you can do. You can then select install client and press okay, and it's gonna go and install, just wait. Go to the top and click on installations and go and scroll down and go and find Forge just here. Then go and click on the folder or file icon to the right. And you can then go and scroll down and you need to go and find the mods folder just here. Now what you need to do is go and drag DecoCraft into it like so, and that's it. You can then come and return to the launcher, hover over Forge and click on play over to the right. Here we are in Minecraft. And what we can then do is go and click on mods like so. You can go and see I've got DecoCraft installed. You go and check you've got it yours installed as well. Then what we can do is go and click on single player. And I'm gonna go and create a world in creative and start showing you the different items. Here we are, let me go and open up my inventory by pressing E. Now what we can do is go to the top of Minecraft and you'll go and see these arrows. And what we can do is go and click here and start flicking through. You're going to go and see all of these different sections for DecoCraft. First of all, we've got toys, we've got misc, We've got hobby, we've got clutter, you then got comfort, and then we've got wall decor, signs, seasonal, flags, surface, and we've then got another whole page. We've got tech, storage, lighting, bathroom, kitchen, Patreon, medieval, shops, food, pets, and then another one, and we've just got laundry. So with DecoCraft, you can completely build a house in Minecraft basically and fully furnish it. And you can scroll through these sections as well. So I'm gonna go and start off with MISC, let's say, and you're gonna see like a claw machine, pretty cool. And then what you could do is go and place it like so. So as you can see, there it is, and you can actually interact with it, which is pretty cool as well. I didn't realize that was a thing. Seasonal is pretty cool, especially around Christmas. For example, here, we've got a Christmas tree, which we could then go and place. As you can see, it's not just one block as well. It's actually pretty big. 
Then what we could do is go and look in hobby, for example. One of my favorites is comfort because here we're gonna have things like beds and chairs and things like that. So for example, I could go and place down a chair just here, as you can see, and you can go and scroll through here and see there's so much choice as well. Even a beach chair, which is pretty cool, we could go and place down. Now let's go and look at tech. I believe this was on the third page, this one here. Here we're gonna have pr some pretty cool items. For example, a two monitor setup. So you can go and build a gaming setup in Minecraft, which is pretty cool. And then if we go into the fourth page, we've got laundry. So you think of like dryers and an iron board, stuff like that, pretty niche stuff. But you can actually build entire bathrooms as well. For example, we've got a tub here. Uh, I can scroll down. We've actually got a, a, a gold toilet, which is pretty cool. I think you could do something cool with that uh, with some type of luxury build. So yeah, so much to go and choose from. Let me just go and place it to go and give you guys an idea of what it looks like. So yeah, Decacraft is super cool and it really enhances house building because before you could go and add a crafting table, a bed, but you got pretty limited. You could add some stairs as a seat, but with Decacraft, it completely enhances it and improves it.